I remember watching that on a black and white television. Anybody know what a black and white television is? <laughs> yeah, there are a few of us do. For you younger folks, you have to go to a museum to see one now. Um, but um, the Mercury program, which started the human space exploration, led to the Gemini program, which then led to Apollo which took us to the moon. And so I was watching that happening as I was growing up. And I was in high school when Neil and Buzz walked on the moon for the first time. Um, when I look at the youngsters that are here, I see the Mars generation. Because in their lifetime, they will see somebody walk on Mars. And who knows who that might be, right? So, so I have a request of the Mars generation, however, because this picture here that I start out with, that view was last seen by a human being in 1972 when the last of the Apollo missions was returning from the moon. So in 1972, the whole concept of high-definition photography hadn't even been thought of. So my request of the Mars generation is, when you come back from the moon or from Mars and you see this picture here, will you take a good high-definition shot for me? I'll give you credit for it, so. Um, like, I like this slide here, it shows a lot actually. Um, when I show it to school groups, I'll say, you know, what do you see? And they say, boats, we see boats. Um, other, other folks will see the space shuttle Atlantis that's on the launch pad in the background. Um, this picture was taken uh, shortly before my first launch in 1992. And in 1992, the United States was celebrating the 500th anniversary of Columbus having discovered the new world. So shortly before we were gonna launch, three replica ships of Columbus's fleet went sailing past the launch pad. So when I look at that picture, what I see is 500 years of transportation technology advancement. If you were gonna cross the Atlantic Ocean 500 years earlier, you got into one of these really modern ships because that was the best they had of the day. And it would take you two weeks or longer to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we fast forward 500 years, I got in this other ship, the spaceship, and I crossed the Atlantic Ocean in under 10 minutes. <laughs> so it makes you wonder how people will be traveling 500 years from now. And I don't know the answer to that. Uh, but I feel pretty comfortable saying it's not 